Hello, my name is Dylan McCullough, and I'm a student in Auburn University's Masters of Science of Nursing Family Nurse Practitioner track. And I would like to briefly discuss the role that the nurse practitioner plays in today's healthcare setting. Nurse practitioners fill a vital role in the healthcare field. According to the American Association of Nurse Practitioners, the role of the nurse practitioner is to fulfill patients' primary care needs, whether at first onset of undifferentiated conditions, acute conditions, or chronic conditions, provide health promotion and collaboration of overall patient care. This role can be achieved by a certified registered nurse anesthetist in a surgical suite, a certified nurse midwife in a labor and delivery unit, a clinical nurse specialist in the cardiac wing of the hospital, or a certified registered nurse practitioner in a primary care clinic. Also, the nurse practitioner's role can be practiced in virtually any healthcare setting, whether it be hospitals and emergency rooms, or urgent care, specialty care, or primary care clinics. Additionally, nurse practitioners help to fill the void in healthcare availability by working in places that are not typically well served by a doctor, especially being the rural settings. Also, nurse practitioners help to increase healthcare availability by providing a more cost-effective means of patient care, as nurse practitioners cost significantly less, roughly a third of the cost, a bit if a patient were to see a doctor. Furthermore, as patients continue to seek healthcare opportunities, many patients tend to turn to nurse practitioners because of the reputation that nurse practitioners hold as being more caring and understanding, which comes from the background of the overall field of nursing. To become a nurse practitioner, a bachelor's level registered nurse must complete two years of master's educational level academic and clinical coursework from an accredited university. The education provided to nurse practitioners enables them to treat patients for countless medical conditions. As the primary care nurse practitioner academic curriculum covers advanced assessment, pathophysiology, pharmacology, and evidence-based practice guidelines, as well as preparing the nurse practitioner with advanced skills such as prescribing, emergency decision-making, and other assorted hands-on skills such as suturing. Upon completion of the academic and clinical coursework, the nurse practitioner must pass a licensure examination from a certified licensure agency, such as the American Academy of Nurse Practitioners, prior to legally practicing in their respective state. After obtaining licensure, it is also required that a practicing nurse practitioner have a collaborating physician, though the physician does not physically have to be in the facility with the nurse practitioner at all times. As most people are aware of Jeff Foxworthy's You Might Be a Redneck Ifs, I have developed Dylan McCullough's Top 10 You Might Be a Nurse Practitioner Ifs to help provide a greater understanding of the roles and perceived roles of the everyday nurse practitioner. At number 10, if family gatherings for you are more like seeing patients at the walk-in clinic, you might be a nurse practitioner. At number nine, if your friends contact you more because they have the sniffles than because they want to hang out, you might be a nurse practitioner. At number eight, if your idea of getting physical is providing patients with pre-employment or insurance phys physicals, you might be a nurse practitioner. At number seven, if your neighbor calls you every time he or she starts a new medication just to see if it's safe and what side effects to expect, you might be a nurse practitioner. At number six, if your family refers to you as their doctor instead of their wife, daughter, granddaughter, niece, or cousin, you might be a nurse practitioner. At number five, if you are providing the same medical treatment as a doctor for roughly a third of the price, you're most definitely a nurse practitioner. At number four, if your idea of giving shots is giving rocephin and decadron to cure a sinus infection rather than drinking alcohol on the weekends, you might be a nurse practitioner. At number three, if you live out in the country and all of your neighbors call, call you or come to your house instead of going to the doctor or the ER, you might be a nurse practitioner. At number two, if the term evidence-based practice 
gives rationale to what you do and why you do it, as well as bring back some nightmares and grimaces of academic papers and coursework, you are definitely a nurse practitioner. And at number one, if your patients tell you that you listen to them and actually pay special attention to their concerns and feelings, you are probably a nurse practitioner. As a bonus and directly aimed toward prospective patients and to sum up the key takeaways of the importance of the nurse practitioner in today's healthcare field, if you are a patient who is looking for highly qualified and educated, caring and understanding, cost-effective and affordable healthcare providers who are accessible in virtually all urban and rural healthcare settings, you might better look for a good nurse practitioner. Thank you.